Atomic Hearts left a lot of impressions. The Manfish Studio tried to embody several major ideas in their first project. Some of them were executed brilliantly. The unusual setting, cool soundtrack and exciting shutouts were enjoyable. However, the plot often felt lacking and the open world seemed unnecessary. As a result, the overall score for the main game was 7 out of 10. But did the Annihilation Instinct expansion manage to fix the situation? The trailers and screenshots of the expansion painted a very intriguing picture. Eleonora was supposed to become the main star of the DLC. The main storyline didn't fully reveal all the secrets of this deadly useful mechanism, so the events of the expansion started in a very intriguing way. The AI did something to Sergei Petrinichayev, who once again becomes the protagonist. Now the hero must escape and solve several problems at once. The sophisticated hotel where he woke up is filled with cartoonishly arranged dolls. The room are drenched in blood and filled with dead bodies. It all seems logical. The malfunction at Enterprise 3826 made the machines rebel against their owners. Oh, Let's it. address the main problem of Annihilation Instinct right away. The plot is very weak. In the first few minutes, the authors bombard players with a bunch of details and specifics that will likely leave gamers puzzled. The story of Atomic Heart took a very unexpected twist in its development. The developers created a genuine surprise while also playfully trolling their audience. And to be honest, it didn't turn out very well. The narrative is only interesting in two places at the very beginning and right before the final. However, what captivates the players is not the quality, but rather the decisions made by the developers. A significant amount of time is spent on references to the main story and closing its plot holes. The characters magically talk a lot, but there is very little truly essential information. The entire essence of Annihilation Instinct could be summed up in two or three short sentences. Indeed, one thing that worked excellently in the expansion was the portrayal of Sergei Nechaev as a highly conflicting character. Sometimes in the Atomic Heart storyline he was too clever, as if he had read the script, and other times he was as dumb as Tornot. Occasionally P3 turned into a decent, fed up guy, but more often than not he descended into an aggressive jerk. The hero swung from one extreme to another, making it difficult to determine one's feelings toward him. In the expansion his character somewhat stabilized. Even the voice actor managed to adjust his approach slightly. Of course, there were no radical changes, but there are indeed some minor improvements, as if they slightly adjusted the focus on a blurry image. Nichai will explore the Mendeleev complex and surrounding swamps. The swamps in particular create a highly atmospheric setting. The hero has to navigate through destroyed huts adorned with graffiti, walk through dense greenfield parks and engage in battles with crazy robots while standing ankle deep in water. The corridors of the scientific stations remain just as mysterious and impressive. The expansion provides a better experience than the main game. P3 rushes from one area to another where he takes down dozens of enemies. The exploration of levels and puzzles slightly diversifies the gameplay, but they are somewhat limited. However, there are no meaningless open spaces. Although, in the end, the formula goes every and players have to ride back and forth on a slow elevator. The main enemies in Annihilation Instinct will be the mannequins and bice, the names of the robots aptly describe them. The beloved wolves will only appear in the second half of the expansion. There are only a couple of hostile graphics. The Natashas and bees won't appear at all, which is quite pleasing as it allows players to rampage through enemy crowds like an unstoppable force. And once the enemies are defeated, they won't get back up as there are no repair drones. It's worth mentioning the new boss separately. It's turned to be quite impressive. This is the only special enemy and players have to face it twice. The worried attacks of the machine and Nishaev's limited arsenal make the battles 
intense and challenging. Nevertheless, playing Annihilation Instinct was still enjoyable. The expansion fixed some issues present in the base game while introducing its own flaws. It's evident that Manfish is experimenting and seeking new ideas and techniques. Perhaps at this rate the developers will reach a new level of quality in upcoming DLCs or in the announced sequel. That's all for today. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to know about my new videos. See you soon.